I guess first I was just curious uh, how much motivation was there from out last weekend did it going into today's game? Is that one of the reasons why you came out firing or was it also just because it was the NCAAs? Yeah, I think a combination. We were uh, thrilled to get the at-large bid. Those are few and far between, and you know, we felt that our body of work uh, put us in the position to get that, but you just don't know until it actually happens. And you know, we, we looked at this as kind of a new lease on our, our lacrosse lives, and I thought the guys approached it that way today. We came out uh, firing on all cylinders, and it was a beautiful day to play, and we, we just enjoyed the afternoon. Before I ask about that, I did one other question. How nervous was it Sunday night just waiting to find out with you? I mean, were you all kind of confident or were you kind of on edge wondering? You know? It was one of the longer weekends I've had uh, <laughs> from from Friday night until uh, yeah. 10 o'clock. And then we thought it was going to be at 9 o'clock and they bumped it an hour on us. So that, yeah. that uh, led to even more drama. But right. it was, uh, I was, again, there was confidence. Uh, but at the same time, you just don't know how a committee will, right. will, will turn at that point in time. And for the two guys, uh, you know, the way you guys got to the start today, like the first goal, how big was that just to score that quickly in this game too to kind of get things going for you? Yeah, I think after kind of a weekend like last weekend, it's, it's pretty important for everybody to get back to basics. So, you know, getting that first goal under your belt and kind of, you know, kind of taking a little weight off the shoulders, you know, knowing that we can kind of get back into things was, was pretty important. And, yeah. you know, I think after after we did get that first one, I think looking around at everybody else and on the field, on the sidelines, we kind of saw a sigh of relief, you know, just to kind of get get the wheels back on the bus and start yeah. heading in the right direction. And how surprised were you at how quickly it turned into the kind of game it did? I mean, were you, I'm sure you're confident going in, but were you expecting to have like that kind of a start, or were you really shocked that you guys were playing that well? Yeah. Anybody? <laughs> I mean, from a coaching perspective, yeah. I was I was surprised. We saw some film of them and, and knew yeah. that they were potent offensively. I think the thing that we did was we won a ton of faceoffs. Which, yeah. if, if we keep the ball in our offensive end, then then uh, that's obviously a great situation. But didn't expect this type of game, um, yeah. but certainly pleased to get it and, and pleased to be able to practice tomorrow and prepare for uh, whatever yeah. comes Saturday. And I asked them this too. What are some of the challenges when you're in this kind of a game, though, where it gets you know such a lopsided score? Uh, is there ever tough to kind of keep your you know not get into bad habits or stuff like that because you're trying to do too much or you know? Um, I mean, not really, because uh, every every step we're out there, we can use it to, even when we're up by big, we can use it to, to help us uh, for future games and future practices, stuff we can work on, things like that, so. Yeah, like what are you going to talk about at halftime, by the way, like it's going to be kind of a strange position to come into a game with a 16 goal lead. You know? Yeah, we, um, you know, we, we talked about, you know, staying in this game, not not looking yeah. ahead, and and um, you know being unselfish with, with our play. You know we talked about, hey, let's do this the right way. Um, you know we want to just go and play our game. Um, at the same time, we, we want to be unselfish in everything that we do and, and respect uh, respect our opponents um, mm -hmm. also. I mean, because lastly, for all you guys, I'm just curious what you talk about. I know you don't know you're going to play yet, but just you know having a game Saturday and possibly here, what are you guys kind of expecting in the next round? Um, I mean, kind of after a game like that, I think the biggest thing that we're really focusing on is, you know, coming back out tomorrow and, and, and kind of regardless of who we see, you know, making sure that we get a high intensity, great practice and, you know, um, keep the sticks going, the feet going and, and you know, keeping the, you know, the little things in our mind, you know, yeah. playing simple, you know, keeping the ball going and, and uh, I think that's going to be kind of key going into our next game. Yeah. Yeah, we're really, really excited to have a, another game on Saturday, and whoever we do play, I mean, we're going to find out soon. Uh, we got two days of practice, and we're going to we're gonna go out there and get ready to play them, so. Yeah, when you get down to 16 teams, you know, it's, it's going to be a, a battle. Um, a game like today is 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 in our past uh, right now, and we just need to prepare for whoever uh, we see on Saturday. We know it's going to be a, a, a great college lacrosse game.